Hey everybody, how's it going? So I made a video last week. I was up here broken and they bought powder and let some does walk. Because me and my brother had made an agreement to shoot big buck. Well, we came up here Wednesday for the last three days of black powder and tomorrow starts rifle. Well, Wednesday evening, all day yesterday, and then this morning and afternoon, I let a little scrub buck walk and several different does. Well, this evening we decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. So I shot a doe at 413. She walked in on the right down by the corn, about 43 yards. Shot her and it's a little far back. She went down. She kind of spun around a little bit. She passed really quick. But I don't know if it was, you know, the powder being in a rifle and it's kind of been raining for three days. Or if it was me and the blind. I'm in a dark blind compared to last year. And I shoot with both eyes open and a flash from the primer startled me and I probably jumped a little. So I text my brother, told him I shot this doe. And he said, go ahead and reload and just hang out. And while I'm reloading, I hear footsteps. And no sooner than I get my rifle back on my Caldwell Field Pod Max, she walks within five yards of the left side of my blind. And as soon as she crossed in front of me, I slipped it in right behind her shoulder blade. And she dropped in her tracks. So that's two deer of muzzleloader reload all within maybe three or four minutes. That excitement makes up for three days of watching deer walk by and just letting them walk. Driving crazy. But this is the first time in many years of deer hunting that I've let deer walk. Where in the past I've shot little spikes, you know, little two year old little cow horn bucks. But as they say, I put meat in the cooler. And now that I probably have two deer in the cooler, I may spend all day tomorrow waiting for a big buck. The ruts kicking in here in the mountains. Uh, they're chasing does. It's easy to see. Um, so you never know. You might get lucky. They're calling for rain tomorrow all day long. And high winds on Sunday. Luckily, I got a good blind. I got a few little pinholes in it. But I'll stay dry. And maybe some big buck is take his opportunity to come out in daylight and show himself. Today I was using my traditions muzzleloader. But tomorrow it's the Thompson Center 30 alt 6. Now I did bring my AR 450 Bushmaster. But I really don't want to drag it out in the rain. So, um, we're staying till Monday. So Monday, if the opportunity presents itself, I may take a third doe and with the 450. I never shot a deer with it. Here in North Carolina, we don't have uh, cartridge restrictions like they do out in the Midwest. I bought the 450 Bushmaster just to use here in the mountains, in the woods, on a 40, 50 yard shot. So we're gonna try it out. I zeroed at 100. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb out of the blind here at five o'clock and get these two does put up on the four wheeler. I hope I can do it by myself take them back to the cabin and uh, we'll work
work on skinning a deer. My brother's already killed a deer. He pulled the trigger first at about 405. <clears throat> so, as of right now, there's three deer down. And we're both in great spots. I kill deer every year. He may have another walk in for him. So, it may be a double double or a quad double. <laughs> Thanks.